Never mind. We stop early. You're welcome, Rascal. What's up? Am I muted? I guess not. Let's put some music. Uh, please tell me if uh, if the music is too loud. Hopefully it's not too loud. I guess. Yo, what's up, Excalibur? You are here. You are here. Yo, welcome everybody. Uh, all right. So, shall we start right away? I guess we just start. Let me see how loud the music is. It's not bad, huh? Alright, so what we do is account reviews. You go to Discord, PM me these type of screenshots, uh, your equipment, your commanders, your spending level, your account age, all that good stuff. Then we talk about your account. And today we are gonna start with Excalibur, I guess, because uh, we haven't reviewed it, right? I guess not. Did we review your account? Probably not. Let me fix this mic. Should be better now. Hopefully. Alright, I will. A body. I will check it. Where is it? Oh, this one. Okay. All right, we will, we will. Let's start with Excalibur. Let's not waste any more time. So this guy, Excalibur, is completely free to play. Not even a low spender. Uh, here is Minamoto. There it is. And he's VIP 10. That's that's really good because VIP 10 is amazing. But uh, you should just keep working on your VIP until uh, VIP 12. Uh, it, it is a lot better. I mean, you double the value. When it comes to your sculptures uh, after vip 12 you might work on your castle and all that and then go for vip 14. Uh, let's review the equipment on your commanders let's see uh yeah it's a beginner's account because it's only 112 days old you have a sansu it's max it's amazing it's great i mean the best epic commander obviously then you have wait this is not ragnar what is it bjorn yes you have bjorn bjorn is like a mini alexander i love bjorn that's also a really good investment so you know what you're doing nice uh your richard though uh, what is the skill level of your richard is it uh 5111 or 5511 what is it can you please tell me In the meantime, I'm just gonna answer some questions. Bambi says, Bro, would you go three infantry marches or one infantry, one cavalry, one range for free to play? Uh, well, like if you go three infantry, there are upsides and downsides because uh, you get better value from your civilization, you get be better value from your special units, or you get better value from city skins, all that good stuff. But also it's just it makes your account one-sided like you are only good at infantry uh, but time to time you need cavalry you need archers i'm kind of suffering from that problem like i don't have fast marches like cavalry or i don't have great aoe marches like a nebu ysg amanitor artemisia i have your standard uh, guan leonidas alex herald all that good stuff but i will say i mean i don't regret it because i'm still working on i, I mean the best thing to do looks like like three from your main troop type and one from let's say my main troop type is infantry and one cavalry and one archer with three infantry marches would be just perfect uh this is my jumper account 112 days old yes 
uh, but you are doing well I mean your uh, epic investments are really good on point let's see he's a low spender can I still of course I mean we are reviewing low spenders free to play it doesn't matter just just send it and we are gonna review it can we still send accounts for you to look at yeah sure just send it race just send it no problem uh, no problem Bambi Excalibur says 5111 that's probably his Richard I mean 5111 Richard is decent in early game but later on he really drops in utility so I wouldn't recommend you to invest any more than that because it's also good enough uh, for bar chaining with a max YSG I don't know if you're going to go for YSG or not but uh, it's a good investment I mean 51111 Richard is decent he's also decent at Canyon with that investment uh, so you are probably you also have max John of Arc which is also amazing I love John of Arc in open field in early game uh, your equipment let's take a look at your equipment yeah these are just perfect I mean I just don't like which lineage I don't like it but you had the blueprint you crafted it you can dismantle it anytime you want because it's your jumper account so you know the game no problem and you're also working on your second infantry equipment this is also really good I mean my advice will be don't go for another witch lineage just craft better equipment like uh, another Karax humility or the blue shield oh you already have blue shield but maybe you can go for a uh, procced a special talented scarlet hounds because it's a great investment uh, for a blue item 5.5% HP is great maybe you can try to special talent your wind swept and then you can probably just skip which lineage and the epic chest piece that gives attack I forgot its name then you can just go for the uh, legendary you can skip the epic ones but you can also just craft and dismantle it anytime because if you guys didn't know when you dismantle an epic piece uh, you get full materials back but when you dismantle a legendary piece you only get half of them uh, you are saving for YSG 300 sculptures currently all right Surajit what's up brother yeah I'm doing great hope you are doing great too mm, let's see yeah I guess that's about it when it comes to your account oh let's see mm -hmm. yeah you are I mean it's a hundred days account so you don't have many uh, legendary materials I mean blueprints but you know the drill you will get there my only recommendation would be just don't invest any more than that to Richard and then you probably have a plan in your mind and just stick to that after Excalibur we had um, who wait, wait 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 I remember we talked somebody uh, Rascal I think it's uh, I pinned it didn't I it should be at the top uh, the discord link uh, yes Ashils Ashils where is it wait what oh there it is yes so let's see oh you have nice commanders well done doot, 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 doot. Let's see. Mm, I can't see your VIP, but it's all right. So you have a 5511 Ziyang Yu. That's a good investment. I mean, he's perfectly usable for open field with that 5511. And this is your equipment. Mm -hmm. I mean, epic gear on cavalry is really good. The leg piece is great. Chest piece is good. Uh, I said sufferance. The glows are also amazing. Heart of the Saint. I love it. This is a really nice uh, beginner's equipment. I mean, beginner's to intermediate equipment. You have a Max Sun Tzu and Ethelflaed. I guess you stopped at 50. Uh, maybe you can go for 60 if you care about Sunset Canyon. Because this is the only place where Ethelflaed can be a primary in Sunset Canyon. But other than that, if you, are, like, if you don't care about Sunset, Sunset or Lost Canyon much, you can just stop at 50. You don't need to waste your... I mean, not waste spend your uh, stars but 
she is really good as a, as a primary in Sunset Canyon, especially in early game. And oh, that's a full proc leadership equipment. That's nice. I mean, if you worked on that, if you worked on proc legendary, I mean not legendary leadership equipment, maybe you should go for level 60 Alpha Flat, and you can use her with Joan of Arc secondary. Let's see in here. I mean, I don't like. I don't like the blue legs, I don't like, I mean, I don't like the attack items because you get so much attack from technology, different things, or uh, especially in Season of Conquest, I don't like attack items because all you get from the crystal tech is attack, so I prefer health and defense, so I don't like this leg piece, uh, Sakura Fubuki and which Slime Age, but it's okay, I mean, uh, what you can do, let's say when you have uh, some blue, um, some materials for a better item, let's say a hopes cloak for your chest piece, you can just dismantle your Sakura Fubuki and get a blue shield instead of that and craft a hope cloak, that would be nice and yeah that's also a nice one but here's a tip, uh, I think, I mean I'm kind of sure that if you have a Vanguard's Halbert I mean the vanguard weapon, the green weapon, with a special talent. I think these two combined together can be better than a blazing axe. Because the total stats might be better and the type of the stat it is definitely better. Because this gives you attack but uh, the vanguard's halberd and the vanguard's graves combined together gives you a lot more defense and health. So I don't like this weapon but this is a really nice equipment. You can just go from there, this could be your base equipment. My only advice would be to change to, to go back to green weapon if you already have it. You also have a 5511 Nevsky, so it's an. I guess you're using XY slash Nevsky. Oh, 4321. Uh, so if you haven't locked Charles Martel's skills, definitely use the skill lock feature and definitely lock the first skill so you only upgrade this one and then lock the second. Uh, to the second skill so you can max out your first and second skill that will be a lot better instead of I don't know like this third skill is not that good like the first two skills of Charles Mattel are amazing so you definitely want to skill lock on and upgrade these two let me just read the chat level 10 VIP alright so your goal is to go for level 12 as soon as possible Skip Reinhardt, I will send more pick, of course. You clicked and it doesn't work, okay. Oh, you got it, alright. Yo, Jake, what's up? Veeb. Alright, Nova, I will get to that. Mehmet, merhaba, hoş geldin, evet. Uh, Abodi, yeah, it was the first commander to work on. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let's go back. Let's see. Oh, you also have some type of investment on Trajan. I mean, don't invest on Trajan, not yet. Like, you have uh, much better options. Like, Trajan shouldn't be a priority. I mean, Trajan should be only your, let's say, fifth march, maybe. Like, Trajan Herald, Trajan Ethelflaed. It should be only your uh, fifth march. I guess you're working on these commanders from the wheels. You probably spin them to 10 and then go from there. Yep, it shows here, VIP 10, my bad. Oh, you are in Season of Conquest. Oh, of course, like you have all these commanders unlocked. Oh, that's really good, 3113 Guan Yu. I mean, if you can get him to 5115 or 5155, it's a great investment, especially when combined with Alexander, which is... In my opinion, the, mo the most versatile commander in Rise of Kingdoms with Saladin. 5-2, I mean, what you should do is just, you should decide on something, because you have a 5-5-1-1 XY, 5-5-1-1 Nevsky, 5-2-1-1 uh, Saladin, what else, like 3-1-1-3 Guan Yu, uh, you should decide where you want to take your account. I mean, either infantry, it, it looks like you will either go infantry or cavalry, but... Cavalry looks better because you already invested on XY, uh, Nevsky, Saladin. Maybe Guan Yu could be your side march, yeah, like your one infantry march, Guan Yu and Alexander. And you could have one 
the Archer much, like a Nebu YSG, Ramses YSG, then you can go for uh, like a 5511, I mean 5551 Love Investment Saladin with a 5551 William and XY Nevsky. That will be like perfect for marches. Mm, let me read the chat. You sent, oh, okay. We sent it in Flex in the Discord. No, no, no. You just, uh, you just PM. Um, yes, you just PM the screenshots to me. Just uh, send me a private message. Just a big free-to-play equipment for KVK two and three on Flex area. Okay, you send it on Flex. All right. Could you do XRX X RSX after? Sure. Thanks. What do you think is the best inve is investment for? Mm, best investment order for infantry. I mean, I would say definitely get your LX to 5511 or 5551, depending on the, the number of sculptures that you have. Then you can combine your LX with a low investment Guan Yu, like a 5 something 55. Five. And then from there, you can go for a 5511 uh, Leonidas. You pair your Guan Yu with Leonidas. In the meantime, if you have YSG, you can pair your LX with YSG. Charles with uh, Alex, Richard with Alex, all that good stuff. And then you can work on your Herald. YSG is more style than Alex, but Alex is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YSG is, yes. YSG is more versatile, but for infantry commanders, Alex is... Isn't Alex bad if he's not expertise? I mean, he's not as good as expertise, but he's definitely not bad. I mean, I used him for a while, uh, 551 first, uh, for a few months. Then I used him for a few months for uh, with... 5551 five, five, so he's definitely not bad but he's a lot better with expertise in 20 days we have first alex field i have 100 gold heads and vip 10 should i invest them on ysg and give him two more skill points uh five one five five one two if lucky or keep alex oh that's a really nice one i mean i guess it depends it depends what you want to do with your account because right now we have lots of really good commanders back in the day like we had a few really nice commanders and some mediocre ones but now we have xy we have nevsky we have nebu i mean you want to go for archer road or infantry i don't know i think it depends what you want to do later in your uh, with your account do you think i should invest my xy she just played season of conquest commanders i mean why is she still an amazing commander but I mean, if you have the uh, if you have chance to invest on Season of Commanders directly, I will probably just invest on like X Y Nevsky Nebu Harold Alex Alex Harold is great, like Saladin Williams still great. Low investment commanders in general, I will probably work on them and then work on the commanders who needs to uh, who needs to be expertise. Focus on gems books if you want to come. Yes, that's right. Now. Let's go back to um, Vib. Uh, Vib is here, right? Yes, Nova is here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. we talked about this. <laughs> Sacred Grips, Shields Return, both with a special talent. Holy hell. I mean, this is an amazing equipment, all proc'd, but. Uh, I mean, you, you know, I don't like the shield return. I don't like sacred grips. Uh, I much prefer uh, the set pieces. They are a lot better because of the set bonus, obviously. And then, like, if you had the set pieces, you could go even for a KBK weapon. Uh, you don't actually need to go for KBK weapon, though. You already have it special talented. Yeah, I think I would just go for set pieces. This one. Oh, you have the... Uh, chest piece from the set it's a weird one i don't see it a lot why did you craft it oh look at these commanders all expertise even saladin wuzi tian saladin genghis ysg pakal guan yu man that's an amazing account i love it i love it let's see this one this one is also amazing uh yeah yeah you probably want to go for uh set boots as soon as possible because the chest piece is not bad, weapon is amazing, in my opinion, especially with a special talent. And you have a special talent at Navar's control, that's also amazing. So I think 
the first thing to do here is to get uh, the boots from the set. Oh, come on, man. You gotta proc these. This should be easy for you. I mean, if you're using it a lot, you definitely want to proc all of these uh, before any of the legendary commanders. Then you have a 5525 Constantine. Hmm. So you say I run 3 4 marches. Pakal, Herald, amazing. Guan, Alex, amazing. Southern William, amazing. Uh, yeah, just like me. Sometimes I run Charles Mattel YSG, sometimes I don't. Waiting to invest in Nebu depending on the new infantry. Don't hate on. <laughs> you already said it. I craft a chess piece way back and I've just kept it as a backup. Yeah, of course, not bad. So the thing is, you are gonna take a look. Okay, you're gonna take a look at the new infantry, and then depending on that, you are gonna invest on Nebu or not. But the question is, let's say the new infantry is good, then what you're gonna do? I mean, you have four infantry commanders, right? I mean, I'm excluding Charles Mattel and Constantine. You have Guan, you have uh, Pakal, Harold, Guan, Alex. So if the new infantry commander is good, and if you just max him. Uh, what you gonna do? Because if you just go for Nebu, that's really good because you will have an, a lot better primary for your YSG. But of course, I mean, without seeing the Nebu Infantry Commander, uh, I wouldn't invest on Nebu as well. But even though you invest on, the, uh, on that commander, I would really like to hear your plan. You, you already have four commanders from infantry, so if you just max that guy, what you gonna do? Oh, he's typing. Nice, 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 nice. We will get an answer. In the meantime, I'm gonna read the chat. Also focus... Yeah, yes, we read that. I am Reinhardt Vladimir, free to play. If you see it, please comment so I can change for the better. Yes, I will definitely check it out. I think YSG should get max if you are going to chain. Yeah, that's right. I mean, he's really good at chaining barbs. YSG is amazing, but it also takes a lot of time. I mean, some people max out YSG to chain barbs and then they just don't have the time is Saladin still worth investing then run Saladin YSG for a long time I mean I would say yes Sal Saladin is the best commander for uh, 5551 in my opinion still is the best commander so if you're focusing on cavalry yeah sure why not I'm free to play and I am thinking of going infantry main. Two infantry, one archer, one Kev, that's a really nice one. Go on Alex, go on Leo if lucky and Alex Richard. Archer Rams is YSG Kev, maybe an uh, Nevsky XY from Will. That's a great plan. That's a great plan. But Alex Richard is not that good. Maybe you can do uh, like you can go for YSG, use your Alex with YSG. And when you get Ramses, then you can bench your Alex. I mean uh, pair with another commander then you can do Ramses and YSG and then Nevsky XY is amazing of course for ruins Sansu YSG in KVK3 outperforms every match for me severely wounded and kills oh uh, yeah that's right in KVK3 Sansu YSG I mean amazing AoE damage I love them too let's go back to Weeb if it's a rally garrison captain I will oh so you wanted uh, to rally or garrison I see, I see. So it's not for open field. Of course, then you should definitely invest on him. Because you are all uh, obviously capable of uh, launching a great rally with all those nice equipment. I mean, this is an amazing account. I love it. Do you guys have any suggestions? I mean, I would love to hear them. Lots of kill points. Amazing. Amazing. You probably don't invest in Constantine, right? Because, I mean, that's good enough. Maybe you get him from, uh, what's his face? Legendary Tavern and all that good stuff. Maybe you just max him over time. I don't know. You probably don't invest on him. So what I would do is maybe put these two items on your second march and craft legendary set pieces for your glows and the boots and that's it. In here I would just craft the, uh, craft the boots and that's it. And then... I will craft, I mean, try to get special talent on my archer gear. But other than that, this is an amazing account, man. Well played. Well played. Thanks, bro, for reviewing my account on the other stream. No problem, Silent. No problem. That's why we do those live streams. 
Yeah, stopped investing in him once I got 5525. Five. Yeah, obviously. I mean, he's really good at Canyon. Constantine is a staple. It's a must have in Canyon, but other than that, nah, not much. Now, we go to just a second. Reinhardt Vladimir. Let's see. This one. Yes. Oh, here's a. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Here's a cheeky stream. So. Alright. Ah, is that you? You're cute. Now. So he got. Charles, Alex, Ethelflaed, Guan Yu. Alright, so these are nice equipment pieces, but can you please tell me uh, the skill level of these commanders? Like your Alex, it's not expertise. I mean, is it 5511, 5551, or your Guan Yu? I need to know the skill levels. Uh, other than that, until you tell us your skill levels, let's just talk about the equipment. So, oh my god, another Shio's return. Why, people, why? This is just so bad. I mean, I know why, because... Uh, you see it. You see Shio's return in, in KVK, um, KVK shop, and you just buy it, just like Eternal Knight. Because you cannot stop yourself. But it's bad. I mean, if you haven't crafted a Shio's return, please don't craft it. It doesn't worth it. Uh, the boots from the Legendary set is a lot better because of the set bonus. And... If you proc your epic boots, it's already 7.5% stats, and Shio's return only gives 8%, so there is only half percent difference. It's definitely not worth it. The only time a legendary piece is worth it is if either it's changing the epic stat from, let's say, attack uh, from attack to defense or health. Let's say you have an epic uh, with slinage, for example, the epic infantry helm. It gives attack, so infantry helm, legendary one, gives defense, so that's definitely worth it. But epic boots already giving you 7.5% defense, so there is no need to craft a Shio's return. And the eternal light, same story, Karak's humility, the epic piece, is amazing. But the only scenario that you want to craft an eternal light is uh, if you are pairing a commander with herald, because herald decreases your defense, so you want to mitigate that defense reduction. Uh, with an eternal knight so I don't like these two but you crafted it do I recommend you to dismantle them probably not other than that this is really good you're probably gonna get a hope's cloak and two pieces from legendary set that will be perfect you don't need to touch your blue shield I love it here oh you have a sakura fubuki and with slime age same oh you have a hope cloak with a special talent this is amazing I love it I love this one I just can't get a freaking special talent on this hope cloak but it's okay uh, what you can do is you can dismantle this sakura fubuki and witch lineage when you can craft legendary pieces or you can just dismantle sakura get another special talented blue shield and then use your materials elsewhere for this one all procced amazing again the same story this is exactly the same equipment what i would do she is also really nice but as I said, it's not amazing because it's also not expertise. When you expertise your Charles, it gives you movement speed, but without that movement speed, uh, it's kind of, it's not kind of, it's like really slow. So you cannot retreat that much. This much, Charles YSG goes, fights, and dies, and that's it. You cannot retreat them. So I don't know if it's wise to keep investing on your YSG. I'm not sure. I cannot say just go ahead and max him because. You're already in Season of Conquest, you have a lot better options. Maybe you should just do a 5-5, five, five, try to do 5-5-1, five, 5-1, five, one, five, uh, five, 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 go on you. And pair him with a decent, I mean, you all, almost max your Alexander. So you can max your Alexander, you can do Guan and Alex. And after that, you can go for a nice legendary uh, cavalry commanders. And then in the meantime, as your second infantry march, you can go for... Uh, a weaker one, let's say a Charles Sansu, a Charles CPO is also great because you have really nice two infantry set piece, I mean infantry equipment sets. 
but maybe you just go crazy and dismantle a whole set and make an amazing set for one march and then just put it on Guan Yu and Alexander. But other than that, I mean, I really like it. You have a lot of options to invest, but my first priority would be definitely getting, trying to get your Guan Yu to uh, 5, 1, something, something, probably 5.55. And after that, max your Alexander because 5543 Alexander is perfectly usable for open field. So my first choice will be Guan Yu, then Alexander, and I will try to get a better, uh, how do I say it? Um, a better cap pair. I mean, uh, you probably have. Do you have Minamoto? Uh, because with his relic buff, he's actually really good. But I guess you're not. Maybe a Saladin Nevsky or XY Nevsky would be where I would go after that. Now let's let me go back to chat. Thanks for okay. Do you think? Do you think Charles Mattel 551 match expertise can be used from KVK 1 to 3? Oh definitely. KVK 1 to 3 is it's it's actually really good, but after that. Nah. I think Shields is easy to get. First thing I crafted for legendary pieces is Proc Hope Cloak. That's amazing. You sent my free to play equipment also. Currently going for KVK 2 and 3. Okay, so you are only going for KVK 2 and th uh, 3. So what was your... Uh, what was your name on Discord? Linerts. Is Karax Humility worth crafting for... Karax Humility is the best epic piece in the game. Especially with a special talent. Uh, Discord link, I, I pinned it at the, at the top. It should be at the top. Oh, you invested in Charles Mattel. So you spent legendary sculptures on Charles Mattel. No. <laughs> Why would you do that? That's even worse than Shields Return and Sacred Crypts. No. Oh, your Discord name is Linux. Oh, this one. All right. So you have Alex Max, Charles Max, and... Uh, how about your Guan Yu? Uh, I see a Guan Yu here. Oh, you said you only go for KBK 2 and 3 right now, right? So Guan Yu is out of the equation. Could you review them now or after your dinner? Name is Matt Pao. Uh, I guess I have to review them after dinner because my wife is going to kill me. No problem, Axi. No problem. Thank you for being here. Guan is 5255. Oh my god, that's amazing though. I love it. I mean, I didn't have the chance. I tried it. We didn't have... What's his face? Uh, skill resets back in the day. I just had it like 5-5 five, five something something. And I broke my Guan Yu, so I just decided to max it. So, Linerts. Uh, man, this is, this is really good. Yeah, you have Shio's Return, Sacred Grapes. I mean, everybody crafted them because... They are just so easy to get and you just cannot stop yourself because it's a legendary piece and you are able to craft it. So why not craft it? But then they release the set and they are useless. Oh, this one is amazing. All special talented. I love it. I love it. All right. Eternal Knight, Shio's Return, Sacred Grips. These are the main problems. But I mean, I don't recommend you to dismantle them, especially your Shio's Return. It's special talented. But if you're gonna craft even more equipment, definitely don't go for Shios or Sacred or even Eternal Knight if you're not gonna use Herald. Because as I said, the only time I use this with my Herald because it reduces my defense. So I'm trying to mitigate that defense reduction. But other than that, I think for season two, this is amazing. Like you have Max YSG, you have your Max Charles, uh, Ethel Flat, what? Uh, Alex, you probably even have 5511 Constantine. He's also very usable in early KVKs, especially with a John of Arc or Ethelflaed as either a full buff march or a buff slash debuff march. So these marches are amazing. These equipments are also really good. But what I will say is you probably want to go a hope for a hope's cloak because it's a really nice upgrade. It doesn't only upgrade your stats, the number of stats, 
but it also changes your attack stat to defense stat so it's a really nice one a hope cloak will be amazing you already have a proc one i'm super jealous of that but th this is a really nice one especially for kvk2 and 3 this is an amazing account saladin ysg and ziang nevsky i have max what should i do next i will answer that in a second i got shields proc on my first try ggs man i have a kvk2 and 3 so this is the best i can get yeah definitely like until you move to your kvk season of conquest definitely those are amazing interested in a kvk account I i'm interested on everything just send them to me uh saladin ysg and ziang nevsky i have max what should i do next so you are obviously a cav main with a uh, with a ysg so what i would say is get a william to 5511 so you're gonna have a better march than saladin ysg it's a saladin william it's a lot better and then you can work on either a nebu or ramses to have a better uh, better primary for your ysg so you will have let's say saladin william ziang yu nevsky nebu ysg that will be perfect like that will be three amazing skill damage marches so okay i have to go for dinner i have to end the stream now but i will probably be back after a half hour i will just start the stream right away no countdowns no nothing we will just go from there i will try to review every single account we have in here thank you thank you guys so much for being here so for, uh, sorry my english i see you in maximum in and out goodbye thank you